Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wake Up Report. And if this man would steal Facebook out from under his business partners, what makes you think that you can trust him with your personal information? All right, after a $50 billion drop in the stock market, Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg are doing some serious uh, damage control after it was revealed that Facebook gave some 50 million of its subscribers personal information to a firm called Cambridge Analytica. Cambridge Analytica took that information and used it to develop psychological profiles on uh, not only those subscribers, but a psychological profile that could be used to manipulate media, to manipulate the news into making people do what they wanted them to do by way of voting and um, other political actions. This information was so sought after, uh, information that they refer to as data harvesting, which sounds like creepy in and of itself. But this information became so sought after that people were paying upwards of a million dollars to access that list, to access the tools necessary to use that manipulation tactic on uh, people that they wanted to use it on. Guess who paid a million dollars for that information? And guess who used it on Donald Trump's campaign? Now, all of this was blown open by a whistleblower, Christopher Wiley, who uh, out of guilt eventually forced him to uh, spill the beans on all of this because he saw what people were doing with that information. He saw the potential for so much damage to be done with that information. And uh, since uh, the whistleblowing, uh, Wiley has um, paid the probably the um, dearest and heaviest price that a millennial could possibly pay. He's been banned from social media, from pretty much every social media platform uh, on the web. In which case, taking social media away from a millennial is like taking crack away from a crack addict. They don't know how they're going to live and survive. Now, despite the fact that Mark Zuckerberg has been caught red-handed in probably the most gross, um, uh, uh, grossest of acts when it comes to handling people's personal business via Facebook, most of you dumb fucks are still going to stay on Facebook. Now... There's a reason that I called you a bunch of dumb fucks. And uh, I know probably you're saying, well, how dare you call me a dumb fuck, KTM? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? And I want you to hold that anger. I want you to hold those attacks on me because there's a reason why I called you a bunch of dumb fucks on Facebook. And I am going to let you know why later on in the show. Now, I never trusted this guy. I've never trusted Mark Zuckerberg. And you may notice, too, that uh, I am not on Facebook. The Wake Up Report is not on Facebook because I am one of those select few. Uh, I'm one of those rare breeds, you know, that are probably aging and dying out like the dinosaurs that believes you should not have access to every aspect of my life. You should not have uh, 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 where I live, what I do, where I go, who I go see, where I shop, what I buy, none of that. When Facebook started, It was a good idea. You know, you get to connect with people and you could connect with the people that they knew and so on and so on. But Facebook, and it's not just Facebook, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, Google, all of these tech giants have become full blown legalized computer viruses. They are nothing more than malware that infects everything that it touches. For instance, did you know that if you do have Instagram, which Facebook owns Instagram, that even when you're not on Facebook and you're using Instagram, Facebook will track you via Instagram and not only can it track you, but it can track everybody that you know through Instagram. I have never trusted Mark Zuckerberg. He has a face that you simply cannot trust. Anybody who would reap billions upon billions of dollars Turn around, try to buy an island in Hawaii somewhere and kick the people off because he wants the land. Typical of you colonizers. That is somebody that you simply cannot trust. Anytime you know that somebody stole their company out from under their partners, 
That is somebody who has been doing things dishonestly since day one, and that is somebody that you simply cannot trust. However, despite knowing that Mark Zuckerberg is nothing more than a crook who has used your personal information, made billions of dollars off of it, and you don't get a lick of that money, you dumb fucks still use Facebook religiously and faithfully like a crack addict ingest that crack pipe on a daily basis why are you calling me a dumb fuck ktm i'm getting tired of you calling me a dumb fuck well you just hold on and i hope that anger still builds because i'm gonna let you know later on in the show now mark zuckerberg did uh release a statement you know one of those typical blah 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 statements that says i got caught with my pants down now i gotta figure out a way uh out of this mess and he uh got on television said i or i'll be more than happy to uh uh show up and uh testify in front of congress and all that kind of mess all the stuff that most of these people know how to do because uh people are so trained to this mess they make a huge mistake they do a, a public apology. They say they're going to go away and work on themselves or they're going to go do some yoga or something like that. And it does not change their behavior, not one bit. So they good, put on a good public face. Uh, that's what he's doing right now. And more than likely, it's going to work because a lot of you dumb, well, I won't say it uh, again, are still going to use Facebook and you are still going to continue to let this man harvest your data or whatever it is that you want to call it and abuse uh, your privacy. Now, what I like to do for my listeners uh, uh, for the Wake Up Report is get you as much information in the allotted time that I do the show as I possibly can. And you can always follow up. You can always fact check me. You can always do uh, what it is you want to do. But you have enough information to be able to make a decision about something, uh, whatever it is that I am talking about. Earlier on in the show, I called you a bunch of dumb fucks uh, for staying on Facebook. And you may wonder, well, why did you insult me like that? And I, I hope you were insulted. I hope you were insulted. And I hope you was like, I can't wait to get in the comment section and talk about you for calling me a dumb fuck. Well, there's a reason why I called you a dumb fuck. Not because I think you're a dumb fuck, but because Mark Zuckerberg thinks that all of you who are a part of Facebook are a bunch of dumb fucks. And another point as to uh, sometimes uh, why it takes me more than a few days uh, to put a show out. Like, you know, some, this may have happened on Monday. Sometimes I don't come out with the show until like Saturday or Sunday or the following Monday. It's because I like to find something. I dig and I try to find something to prove my point. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to find something on Zuckerberg that I could give to you that once you have that information, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. And boy, oh boy, did I find it. Let me share this with you. In 2004, a young student at Harvard called Mark was chatting online to a friend about his new website. A mildly abbreviated transcript reads as follows. This is between Mark Zuckerberg and a friend. This is Mark. Yeah, so if you ever need info about anyone at Harvard, I have over 4,000 emails, pictures addresses this is the friend what how'd you manage that one this is mark people just submitted it this is mark they trust me this is mark dumb fucks this of course was mark zuckerberg the founder of facebook the above leaked out during his protracted fight with the winkle voss brothers later made into the film the social network now my question is are you going to attack Mark Zuckerberg the way you were possibly going to attack me for calling you a bunch of dumb fucks? I sincerely hope so because I was using it as a lead in to prove my point. He means exactly what he says. Now that you have that bit of harvested data from KTM and the wake up report, you know exactly what Mark Zuckerberg has thought about you for all of these years that you've been on Facebook. All of these years, he has been taking your information, selling it to the highest bidder, getting rich off of it, and laughing at you all the way to the bank. So whatever dog and pony show that is going to go on at Congress when uh, he sits down to testify, it is going to pale in comparison to the couple of paragraphs that I just read to you. So I suggest that you take that information Pass it along to your friends and let them know what Mark Zuckerberg thinks about them. As a matter of fact, 
pass it through Facebook, send it to Mark Zuckerberg, and let him explain to you how a bunch of dumb fucks could trust somebody so untrustworthy. This is KTM and the Wake Up Report saying think a little bit. It will do wonders for you.